Nose is in front, 15-12 over Fiji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go, please. Let's go. No, you guys pulled out. You guys pulled out. for Fiji, the player who was receiving treatment over on the far side late in that first half is Ioani Temba. I can see him down on the bench in front of me now, getting some treatment. He's been their try-scoring machine, but this man is... Well, actually, both of those men, another one to pull the strings. Now, and yeah, two hold on, hold on, hold on. For Fiji. There is Temba. Oh, fingers, perfect. ouch. Yeah, perfect. He's Argentina. Got a try in this Good. match so far, and plenty in the tournament. Second half of the semi-final underway, it's Argentina by three. And Rodrigo Escrow, this one knocked down into the hands of Manueli Maisamoa. The hard-working number 11 for Fiji. Nuthungu. And now looking to get wide and round the outside is Rasaku, one of the newcomers this weekend. Fiji looking to spread all Maisamoa, saw a hole and it shut very quickly as Gonzalez, the 11s come together. Gonzalez just hassling and haranguing his way to another steal. Pinching that ball back for Argentina. Tipped on by Ethko and then knocked down off a Fiji hand. Yeah, thank you. And Fiji trouble. Oh, I see, and Nathungu's going to head to the Sinbin. Oh, it's unfortunate for Nathungu. <laughs> the finest of margins could perhaps have had a pick what are we doing? going the other way. I mean, I think it started with what are we doing? by Samoa. So you're there, yeah, and you just have the outstretched hand. Maybe he's trying to catch it, but in sevens, yeah, it doesn't matter if you're just swiping it down or swiping it, and it ends up going forward like that. It's going to be a yellow card. It's unfortunate for Nathungu, unfortunate for Fiji, but if there's any team on the circuit who scores tries while well, well down a man, it is Fiji. So they won't, they won't take this as anything but an opportunity for them to show what they can do. My Samoa, I think, initiating contact when it wasn't on. In that first half, Fiji setting some more breakdowns than I would have expected, and I think keeping out of the breakdown, Five. moving the ball around. That's their strength, uh, and I think that's where Six. they'll succeed against this Argentina team. Argentina's backline fanned away for Rival to work with Osatsu. A cross for Wade, who throws well, the worst ball Argentina's probably thrown in a couple of matches. Big lead off there for Fiji. No, no, no. Different ball. Has to be same ball. Big lead off for Fiji, and I absolutely love that. You're a man down, you're trying to drain time off the yellow card, and Fiji are going to take it quickly and throw the ball around. And I mean, that's what makes watching them uh, so incredible, and what playing against them so difficult is they're going to come out, they're going to throw the ball around, and they're going to make life very difficult for the defence. Too wide a stroke to this line out, which is a bit of a scrappy one, but it falls in the hand from Giuseppe Botteroringa. And the Fiji playing with six at the moment. But they're the team that can cut up anyone. Long and Nwasi leads away. Two eyes, steps out of one, can't get past Elias Wade. And that's an awkward ball, a little fly hack at it from Argentina and Moneta. If he'd got contact, there might have been trouble, but Fiji have scooped up that loose ball again. The other one's chasing at the moment. And without one of their key architects, Nathungu, in the Sinbin. Offloads are sticking, though, for Argentina. There's another one for my Samoa. Is having to hold things up a little bit, looking for some individual brilliance to why. And there is the individual brilliance. And the flyer, Bati Raringa, down the outside. All the way down the left. Fiji strike while the player short. Josese Bati Raringa. I mean, really, really outstanding from Fiji. They've taken the whole of this yellow card period. Argentina only touched the ball in those first few seconds when they threw that pass into touch. And so they'll take at least five points out of this yellow card period. And for Fiji, I mean, Jerry Tuai working in the middle was so, so important. I think for years he's been their talisman. There have been other players who've come in and out. But when they're in need, Fiji get the ball in Jerry Tuai's hands and look for him to create something. He pulled in defenders, he created space, and then found the man in space. And Fiji in for the try to take the lead, but only by two points. So Argentina are right in this. Nathungu is back on the field, so we're back to a full complement on each side. But what has that period taken out of Fiji? What are Argentina feeling right now? And we're set for an incredible just under four minutes to end this semi-final. As both teams, knowing they have the opportunity, they can go out Thank and take you. this, but they've got to make it happen now. Time is on. 
17-15, Fiji. Now back in front, and Nathungu back on the field. Nisko leaps, takes this comfortably this time. When I say comfortably, this is easy when you've got Jesu Vakud and Abili all over you to do it. Oh, pressure coming on, he does really well there. Argentina's captain of Satsuk and then just bracing for impact. Ball spills out Whoa. legally, so no penalty, Whoa. Argentina. Whoa. Oh, Fiji just pouring on pressure there from the kickoff, deeming to have done so illegally. I think it might have been no release, no clear release. Um, didn't see the exact call from the referee, but the Fijian fans did not like it. Argentina will use that to relieve some pressure, go to the line out. They know they've only got to get one score. So perhaps not rolling away, impeding entry. It looked like the first man there getting his hands on the ball was okay. I couldn't see what the man on the ground was doing. So I think potentially that was the penalty was on him. But Fiji thought they were in for another try, and their fans definitely did. Ball goes down the back for Alvarez in his 50th tournament, having a good game as well. Revolt working in the middle this time. Now looking to release down the outside of Satsuk, getting close to that sideline and bundled over it. Hard physical defence from Fiji, but conceding the penalty. Yes, the referee judging that Satsuk has got his knee to the ground, at which point you can't continue to drag him. So it'll be really interesting to see. So he gets his knee down there, and Fiji players continue to drag him. I think a key part of that is the referee clearly saying tackle, and it's difficult for the Fijians to hear that. Perhaps it was pretty quick. Um, I think often you might see them get away with that one, but Argentina do get the call. Continue the kick for the lineout. Go to the lineout. And <laughs> Fiji now, yeah. if they can get a steal here, will be in prime position. But Argentina, no. They've only got to get one score. There's a minute and a half left on the clock. I think probably going to look to hit this up in midfield, create a breakdown, have that split field, and then see if they can put Mineta in some space. Down the back they go. Revolt waits for the return ball after an excellent throw. Another one. Paladini again offside this time. Fiji. So what's the option here? They tap and go. No, no, no. To Argentina, but not quite in the right spot. We're going to call a scrum here, are they? Did I just see that signal? No, I didn't. I saw a tap. Revolt. Escrow. And then just scooting along as easy as you like for Santiago Alvarez. And the lead changes hands again. It's Argentina back in front with a minute to play. Argentina using the penalties to work their way down the field. A little bit of confusion on that last one. I think no one really had any idea what was going on. Oh. And the, the penalty right in front of the post. Argentina could have kicked the points and taken the lead that way. I think now they've scored with just under a minute left on the clock. You're playing Fiji. They might have left too much time on the clock for Fiji, but we'll see what happens. But fair play to Argentina striking back. And it is just a three-point lead. But you know Fiji will only be thinking about going for the win. But this kickoff now, absolutely crucial. Argentina have retained at least two of their kickoffs in this match. So it's been a weapon for them so far. They look to go to Alvarez. He's down on this left-hand side in a 1-1 one -one, one -one matchup, not against the pod. So I suspect they'll come here to this left-hand side and look to Santiago Alvarez to get up and claim this for them. Three points in it, 10 seconds to play. It is Alvarez who's the target. Vakud and Abili, though, is underneath it. The biggest of a whole lot of very big men in this Fiji side. All ball, that's going to be a penalty. Yeah. Referee or assistant referee's got his flag up. And Argentina have done it again. They are on their way through in the great man's record-breaking tournament.